still the city newsroom and some exciting period because Ghana has won that match that we're all looking forward to, sitting at the edges of our seats and we emerge victorious with three to score against Korea, of course. Nathan in the morning predicted a 1-0. Danny K predicted 3-2 <laughs> and he got it right. Guys, are you surprised by the turn of events? Us doing brilliantly well, I think. Um, surprised, I won't say I was completely surprised mm -hmm. because after what happened against Portugal, the team had to come out. They needed to get a result to try and stay alive in the World Cup. So they didn't have a choice now to go after the game. I was very impressed at the start, I, I noticed. They took a two-goal lead. The surprising bit was how they failed to manage the game and it went out of their hands, but eventually they managed to swing it back and they ended up winning by three goals to two. So on, on the, on the, you take the win, yeah. you look at the positives, but you can tell that this team still is a work in progress. Yeah. But on the, on, on, on the value of it, they've won their first game. They're three points, they are not out of the World Cup. They have a game against Uruguay. So you take that and see what happens on Friday. Great. You said 3-2, got it right. 3-0, three, 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 three okay, so you knew we were going to do a 3. What did you look out for leading to that prediction? First half was brilliant, second half, and it was down to him being managing and managing the emotions and the situations. Once we consider that one goal, and that's what happens with two goal leads. Mm -hmm. The opposition team knows that once they score one, they have the momentum and now they are pushing. We failed to manage that situation and it became 2-2. But you have to credit the Black Stars for calming down mm -hmm. and then having that resilience to push again for yeah. the third goal. And that was brilliant. Once they got it, I think the, the, the technical team and the players did very well to uh, maintain that lead because the incessant crosses that were coming into the box were very difficult to deal mm -hmm. with. But with the introduction of Jiku and then he, himself, um, Amate, Sally, so they did brilliantly with the area of threats. And then, Three points is three points. As I said earlier, I don't care. I don't even care if it was an own goal. I don't care. <laughs> you just knew that. I just three. Away. Right. So what's next for us? You're going on Friday. Friday. What should we really expect from them? I, I say that that game is a very special game. There's okay. a lot of emotion attached to it because of what happened in 2010. So mm -hmm. the players will have to think carefully about that game yeah. and, and try to tell themselves that we cannot go into that game and be careless and, and open up too much. Because they're Uruguayans. When you speak to colleague journalists from Uruguay, mm -hmm. you speak to people who live in Uruguay, they know that it's the Black Stars who want revenge. For them, they no don't... No big deal here. No big deal. So, and they are very smart at knowing how to play on the occasion and the emotions of the opening. Okay. So, you know, they, the Black Stars have won their first game. They need to get a result, but they don't have to get carried away and think about, okay. let's go and get revenge against Uruguay. It could be disastrous. They will have to manage the game like any other game. If they win, then they can say, ah, we finally got one over Uruguay. But we'll have to find a result. And I think that game between Portugal and Uruguay, which will happen, which I'm sure is happening as we speak, yeah. whatever the result is, it will inform how the team thinks about that game against Uruguay on Friday. Okay. You are the prediction man. What are you <laughs> predicting on Friday? Um, honestly, I need to know what happens between <laughs> Uruguay and Portugal. Okay. And then that will determine how both teams will, uh, will approach the game. But I can confidently say that Friday by this time, in fact, Friday by 9 p.m., mm -hmm. the Black Stars will be through to the round of 60. Okay, <laughs> so some great predictions. Thank you, guys. Uh, Nathan Kwao and Daniel Karante uh, giving us some predictions for Friday. It's still the City Newsroom. My name is Vivian Kai, local. When we come back, we'll take you to the fisheries industry because stakeholders there want government to make some more investments there. Why? We'll tell you. Don't go away.